Welcome to Dimitri's Christmas Wrapping Special. Now hopefully I can get through this without making too many bloopers. And if you remember from last year, you know that I can't wrap very well for very well. And if you want to refer back to that, just uh, have a look down below and you'll see last year's little blooper special. Um, so I want to just uh, point this out. This is a scooter. It's a micro maxi T-bar, I think it is. Um, so this is one of the presents that I'm going to get. Kind of steers by leaning, so... Uh, this year, I wanted to get him a couple of uh, sort of big presents. He's going to get spoilt a little bit this year. But the little guy doesn't really get too much stuff during the year. So I thought that, you know, I spoiled him at Christmas and uh, I'm getting him a bike, which if you want to look at that, have a look down below. It'll be on my other channel. And uh, a scooter. So they're the two main toys that he's sort of getting this year. But, you know, you want to supplement it with just a few other bits and pieces. So I'll put this away. This year is going to be the first year that he's getting a uh, stocking. And so I got a few fillers. And uh, this is one of those things where you sort of make uh, voices. Hang on. Hello. I sound like a Dalek. Oh. Can't help myself. But yeah, that's uh, one of the toys. I'm hoping this is going to be the thing that sort of uh, alerts me when he's woken up so I can be ready when he comes out of his uh, bedroom to get him on video and just, uh, you know, hopefully I'll get some form of smile, surprise, reaction from him where he'll come out of the, the bedroom. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll, we'll see what happens anyway. But like there's a little stocking filler for him. Bouncy balls. Just pull off the price tags. Um, Play-Doh? How can you go wrong with Play-Doh? I got this thing here. Touchable bubbles. Um, so yeah, he loves bubbles, so I thought I uh, would get something like that, so I'm sure he'll like it. that. You know, bubbles are always a winner. Cardboard boxes, bubbles, water. He likes water balloons too. Um, he's into his Thomas train, so I've got a little Harvey crane. So that'll be one thing he's got. Bought that one second hand off eBay because they are really expensive and uh, not easy to get actually. More play though. Some um, washable marker pen, so you know if he draws somewhere that he shouldn't, I can wash it off. Some more Play-Doh, and I got a little uh, shark truck aquarium car for the Thomas stuff. So there's a few little bits and pieces it'll get me stocking. Now we come to the fun stuff. Is it fun for him or is it fun for me? Dun 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 I couldn't help myself. Thunderbirds. When I was growing up I used to love watching Thunderbirds and some other cartoon series and stuff like that. I remember um, Robotech, I think, was my most favourite series. It had like three different uh, sagas of different stages of life that they went through. So Robotech was one of my favourite cartoons. But I love watching Thunderbirds. So I thought I would get him some Thunderbirds. So we are going to try, try to wrap them. So I'll also have to uh, get some Thunderbird episodes. So, you know, if he's watching something on TV, 
And then I can put some Thunderbirds on because it's pretty sort of, oh, uh, it's pretty sort of tame type of viewing, so it's not too bad. Um, all right. I am so ready to fail at wrapping these presents. some tape. Just prepping my tape over here a little bit. It's almost a little therapeutic wrapping presence. You know, I look forward to seeing them being opened and uh, knowing that you wrapped them kind of helps, um, you know, give a little bit of enjoyment to the whole process. I guess I'm not too graceful doing this. Still a few presents I have to get. So I got practically you know, everything that I need to for the little ones. I gotta get some presents for like fathers, mothers, other relations. And uh see how I go. But yeah, pretty keen for Christmas Day. And uh, this year, my plan is to get some oysters. In Australia, it's kind of tradition to eat seafood. Um, and it's kind of common that it's going to be stinking hot on Christmas Day. Now, hopefully it's not 40 degrees, which it has been a number of times before, which is like 100 degrees for you guys. Um... So yeah, so you know, tradition to eat seafood, prawns, um, but I've eaten so many prawns in my time, and prawns today just don't taste as good as what they did. Nothing today tastes as good as what it did, depending on where you go, but that's another story. Um, but yeah, plan on to get like uh, some oysters, and I know a place that they just got s the best oysters, they're always so good, so um, I'm gonna you know coordinate with family, and my family's other family um, to see what they're bringing so I can try and coordinate and bring some things just to try and take the workload off the people that are hosting Christmas because the Christmas this year is going to be big. Um, 
to give you an indication on our family at Christmas when it's big. It takes hours and hours and hours to open the Christmas presents. It's scary. Not that there's that many Christmas presents, it's just that it's just that there's going to be so many people there it's not like that every Christmas but this Christmas is a big one there'll be let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 8, 9 10 adults and there's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 9 kids so when you multiply multiple presents by almost 20 people, that's uh, hundreds of presents. And when they get opened one at a time, you know, there's like uh, the kids will take turns on who grabs the present and reads the name out and then gives it to the person. And it takes quite a while, but it's quite fun. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be my Christmas, so... The plan is, is to bring a lot of oysters. Ah. My philosophy on wrapping presents is gives a uh, bugger because they're only going to get opened but one present time next one um, you are not going to work Some Cadbury roses. Actually, this would make a good eating video. Um, you know, they got nice crinkly wrappers on them. Oh, come on, focus. Man, this camera sucks. For such an expensive camera, the focus really sucks. Um, they got chocolate bliss, hazelnut, praline crisp. Strawberry cream, classic fudge, caramel deluxe, hazelnut whirl, Turkish delight, one of my favourites, vanilla butter caramel, peppermint cream and cherry heaven. These things are very, very tasty. So, you know, you know this is a type of present that, you know, I'll give to one of the families for the, the family itself. Just keep it simple. Oh, oh yes. Remember my wrapping skills. Just thinking who's gonna make fun of me for my wrapping skills on Christmas Day. Another present time. Alright, let's change wrapping paper. the birds are gone.
Yeah, you never know which present's going to be success, which one's going to be failure. Here's one of those. I can't wrap presents very well moments. It doesn't fit. That's okay, we can make it fit. What's that cartoon? Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder. Yes, we can. We can make it fit, don't you worry about that. Another present wrapped, but not very well. Now right, let's switch paper again. Open this one up. Ah, next present. This one's a bit bigger. That's something that uh, you guys would probably like. Is um, I've got some nephews, and you know they like to get money for Christmas. Oh, I might give them money and stuff like that, but if they want money, they got to earn it. And so, what I'll do is this is an example of what I might do. Um, is I'll get, say, a medium-sized box and then I'll wrap it and then I might put another box inside and then I might wrap that too. And, you know, I might do a few other bits and pieces or I might wrap it in paper or newspaper or just something. And the whole purpose of the present is for them to open it and then when they get inside, they find, like, a rock or something that's kind of disappointing or maybe like a you know five dollar note or something like that and uh and then they'll have to find the rest of the money and the money i would have stashed in the wrapping paper you know like i'll put a five dollar note in there or when i put a fold i'll put another five dollar or a twenty dollar note or something like that in there so they have to find the money and um, i think last year what i did is I put a treasure map inside and so they opened the present looking for the money they found no money and then they had a treasure map inside and I'd stashed the money somewhere in the property and uh, they had to go find it and uh, you know it keeps them busy for a while and, uh, so they know to expect that they're gonna have trouble with my present all the time. All right, another present wrapped. I'm on fire. Next present. Some diggers. This one here is going to be for one of his friends. So he's got uh, some friends that are twins, and uh, I don't know how they're going to go sharing it. They need to learn to share. So that's pretty much about it. He's going to get that stuff. Um, he'll get the two big presents, the bike and the scooter. And get the stocking. 
some of that stuff. Oh, there's something big around here I've got to wrap as well. It's going to be a bit of a pain to wrap, but it has to get done. Also, um, I'm going to get a bit of um, superhero stuff. Uh, so there's a few younger kids there. So I'm going to get them some costumes or something like that and dress them all up in superhero stuff. Which I haven't got yet. Yeah, looking forward to Christmas. It's always fun watching all the presents get open. Hopefully I'll get a couple of presents too. Um, but yeah, I don't need too much stuff. i got enough stuff here. I don't need anything more. i got myself a few little things. Um, just here for home and stuff like that. I think I'm going to have to upgrade my lights soon. They take up a lot of space, and space is a premium. Um, some more containers to house stuff. Uh, she's getting pretty warm outside here in summer. But luckily for me, recently, I had some aircon installed, uh, which makes it very, very, very comfortable in here. Plus, add to the fact that it's insulated <clears throat> extremely well. That helps for the cooling in this little room. Uh, how are we going to do this? Now we'll just cut it all the way. Don't tell me I cut it short. I cut it short. I told you I can't wrap very well. Alright, we'll use that for something else. and stuff. I remember at Christmas time, my mother would go to all of this trouble to wrap stuff, put bow ties on it, put strings all over it. And when we'd unwrap the presents, we'd have to um, be careful with it all so that she could save it for next year. But you know, you got to remember back in the day, 
you know, you, you sort of saved and you used what you could and you, you made do of what you had, so, you know, you didn't waste stuff. Where today, I'm a bit wasteful. All right, big one. Let's check this thing out. Mercedes Benz five level parking. Uh, how am I going to wrap this one? Nope. That's going to be a bit of a struggle. I got an idea. We'll start here at the top. I feel like I don't know why. I feel like Tim the Toolman. But if I was really Tim the Toolman, I'd need like a V8 wrapping machine. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. This is great. At the moment. You go to wrap the biggest present that you've got, and you run out of wrapping paper. All right, we will start again. Now we don't want to waste anything here, so we will roll it up. It's a little embarrassing. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> oh, I got an idea. What if we end for end? If I run out of wrapping paper again, I'm going to be uh, very displeased. Oh, I think this might work. Pretty impressed with myself over this one. Fire. Oh my god. 
Christmas wrapping machine. Or in my own eyes. Oh, hang on, this is a different style of doing things. Yeah, I'm sure I learned to do this earlier. Most of my Christmas wrapping done, I think. I still got some more stuff I gotta do, but I gotta go get some more stuff. So this is stuff that I've been um, sort of preparing and hoarding for the last month or so. So that's me done. Uh, I'm gonna sign out. And uh, I need a couple little bloopers in that one, but uh, see you later. Sound like a dialect. Oh.
Oh, <laughs> my